Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And if you won't come for She-Hulk, maybe you'll come for Cox. I know I would. Whoa, yeah, we're gonna talk about that. Seems like the uh, the promotion for She-Hulk the last couple of days has predominantly been that Charlie Cox is gonna be returning as Daredevil. I think everybody kind of knew this, some, some hot lawyer on lawyer action. Well, I just wanna, MCU. I mean, I'll be honest. I mean, She-Hulk, okay, maybe I didn't give it a chance, but but Daredevil's in it. I'm going to be there. Yeah. Flat out. I'm just going to be there. As long as they don't ruin the character. It's going to be God. They ruin Daredevil. I'm going to slap somebody. Well, I mean, people weren't real happy with how they handled Kingpin and Hawkeye. That's what I'm saying. If they yeah. ruin Daredevil, I'm going to slap somebody. I think he's, I think it's going to be, um, I think he's going to be nerfed personally. But yeah, so we're going to talk about the marketing with uh, uh, She-Hulk. They're pushing the cameos. Uh, really hard, of course, Daredevil. A lot of people excited for Daredevil coming back to Disney Plus. One of the one of the only things I'm even remotely curious about in the MCU is is uh, Cox. I'm curious about Cox. You're, you're, what does that say about me? That you have taste. Anyway, I'm just, hey, you taste know, the Cox. You know what? I wonder um, how many Hulks are running around out there because apparently all you need to do is get splattered with some blood and you turn into a Hulk. We're gonna talk about that because that is that is the other the other thing that uh, people are not happy that the origin of She-Hulk has been changed. It, it fundamentally does alter um, you know, the character, I think, because in this, this case, she somehow accidentally gets Bruce Banner's blood in her veins. Now, in the comic, it was actually a blood transfusion. He, mm -hmm. he wanted to save her life because she was like a sister to him or cousin, right. they were very close. And uh, in the MCU, she accidentally gets blood inside her veins so it's kind of like uh, I, I don't know gamma aids i don't i don't know i don't know what it is, I don't know I mean, what it is. I, yeah so um, apparently what she has a cut and it gets into her cut i don't know is that know. what they're going with yeah something like that they get in a car accident i guess and they have a tumble and then uh, she accidentally winds up as She-Hulk. Ver versus what? the comics, which is like, yes, I need to save her life. And yes, she could turn into a Hulk. But yeah, I got to save her life. Mark, Mark Ruffalo is looking pretty pretty old Ruffalo? there. Ruffalo? He's looking a little rough. Yeah, so anyway. We're going to talk about this. And everybody's like, oh, my God, they're changing the origin. I'm sure they're changing a lot of things. This I'm is sure they are, too. This is the MCU. The uh, comic books are just a very loose, loose guideline. Now, that being said, I actually do want to see this one. Um, they did fix the CGI, kind of. I'm mm -hmm. going to be honest. I saw the trailer and I wasn't expecting much. And, you know, if you don't expect anything, you're pleasantly surprised. But it did seem like it was going for the tone of the comics. And it does look like they spent a little extra time and fixed the CGI. Yeah, I mean... Again, like I watch, might watch an episode or two and it might completely suck and then I'll tune out. But I, I actually was going to give this one a chance. Anyway, we're going to talk about this before we get into it. Any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, over 273,000 subs. Uh, hit the subscribe button, like, and subscribe and buy our merch. Oh, speaking of which, uh, speaking of which, we are going to be launching a crowdfunder for a brand new comic book project. Yes. A graphic novel. It's a it's pretty thick, actually. This is only half the story. It's it's going to be over 130 pages. Mm -hmm. This is Crimson Wren. This is the prequel to Shadowbinders. This is a book that's been almost 10 years in the making. God, this is the book we joke. We talked about having all the post-it notes on the wall with the story. Yes, it's this yes. book. When we talk about the book that went to first, second. Um, you know, they had a meeting about it. It's this book. This is the comic that broke our hearts, and mm -hmm. uh, this this kind of soured us on the industry. But it's finally I'm proud of it. It's finally getting made. It's finally it getting is. made. So, so. geeky uh, geeky came up with the story. Jose Garcia is doing the art. Uh, Glad to Indiegogo, and uh, you can get notified when we finally do launch this project. We have a couple other projects coming. Uh, we're gonna make new stuff. We're mm -hmm. gonna make new stuff. So let's let's talk about uh, this. They're teasing you with with Cox. Um, so Bounding in the Comics had an article on it, and they said that they're basically trying to get people to watch by promising a lot of cameos. They have, but I have seen the articles where they're talking about the cameos that are going to be in it. Yeah, and that's kind of like, I mean, yeah, they, they made sure that during the trailer they had Wong. And yeah, like, I saw that. Everybody's going to show up on the She-Hulk show. And uh, yeah, that's, that's. I mean, look, every Mar Marvel project at this point is just a commercial for the next Marvel thing. And every cameo that's in this in this, this this show, and that it was, you know, a small, small part, is another artist that created them is not going to probably get much money because it's a cameo. That's true. When you've got <laughs> so, when you've got massive movies like Endgame with a lot of characters, and everybody only gets a couple of minutes of screen time, Marvel doesn't have to pay royalties. There you go. <laughs> you know, that's how that, that deal works. I, just, I do get tired, though, of these shows. That you want to watch a show about that character, but the whole time it's about other characters that show up. 
Well, that's all multiverse of, of madness was, was just cameos. Yeah. It was like, I mean, there, there was no real plot to the movie. Wanda is sad and suddenly evil for some reason. Oh, look it. It's Professor X. Yeah. Oh, look oh. it. It's Black Bolt in his comic book costume. Oh, my God. Fantastic Four with fan casting choice, John Krasinski. Yeah. And they're all dead anyway. They're all dead anyways. It doesn't matter. That's what we're going to do. We're going to, we're going to, um, uh, build everything up in the MCU, and then we're gonna gut you by killing killing everybody off. Probably. And then we know that the actual like six one six version of these characters aren't gonna be anything like the fan choices, except for Daredevil. We're getting well, yeah, thank God. Yeah, so we're getting we're getting. Cox. I would have rioted otherwise. Um, so there's that. That's how they're marketing it now. I and I think this might be partially in response to um, the ridiculous origin that they came up with for She-Hulk where somehow they get in a car accident and his blood leaks out of his head into her arm and gets into her veins. So if you can just basically just, you know, swap bodily fluids with somebody. Well, I was going to say, Hulk. didn't he, didn't, didn't he sleep Did, Didn't he hide with? the pickle and Natasha? Yeah, that's what I'm know. saying. She's not a Hulk. There oh ain't been a little tear gonna, at all. That's how they're going to bring her back. She's gonna she's gonna Hulk out on Vormir and then she's gonna just jump up <laughs> on top right. of the cliff and be like, whoa, it's another She-Hulk. Yay. This time, this time she's all CGI and we we don't have to pay that bitch Scarlett Johansson. That's right. Yeah, well, that's what they're gonna do. Um, I don't think she's what you you mean Disney's saying Disney's saying that. Yeah, you saying, better clarify that. People no. are like gonna kill you. No! I like Scarlett Johansson. I'm saying Disney is probably like, you know what, we'll just make her a CGI Hulk. JPEG. Yeah, cheap, and it's like we don't have to pay her. How do you make this cheaper? How do we make it cheaper? See, bad I get CGI. another million dollar bonus. Uh, we'll make it with bad CGI, and we'll underpay the uh, VFX artists. That's how we're gonna do it. Um, so anyway, in the comics, Jennifer is shot by a mobster to save her life. Her cousin, the Incredible Hulk, gives her a blood transfusion. The result is a much stronger and far greener lawyer. Uh, it's not exactly clear how her origin story goes down in the series, but some new footage reveals how things may play out. While it doesn't look like it will be exactly the same scenario, it does hit some familiar notes. They have a car accident. Somehow, Bruce looks to have gotten out of his smart Hulk persona as he can be seen in the sling he wore during the Shang-Chi post-credits tease. <laughs> One broken arm wasn't enough. <laughs> One broken arm. One broken arm. Um, she that, accidentally... doesn't, that, doesn't that take away something from Bruce? Because yes. he, he made the choice to yes. save her. And yes. now, so, so now it's just a freak accident. Now it's a freak accident. Now it's like, whoopsie doopsie, whoopsie doopsie, yeah. you're a Hulk now. And you're just better, you're better at everything than I am. Can't have um, a man saving her. Can't have a man saving her. Now it's interesting. Uh, we actually have the, uh, woman playing the villain. Oh, I'm sorry. Every time I see her, I just think of The Good Place. Oh, yeah, she was in The Good Place. Yeah, that's right. Anyway, she uh, said, yeah, the costume looks like dog shit. Yeah, that's, um, that is not a flattering costume. I don't, I'm trying to figure, it looks like they wrapped her legs in Christmas tinsel. Actually, my my daughter for my birthday put up, a, a, like, they got, like, hula grass, like, a hula, no, it was Mother's Day. And they got, like, shiny, sparkly hula grass, and, and they, stre they stretched it out. And it looks like you bought one of those banners and wrapped it around her leg, like, three times. Just to show you what she looks like in the comic. Yeah, she doesn't look like that now. Little bit, little bit different. Um, she little looks like, she looks like, like, a thrift store threw up. Yeah. With this a bad wig. Why is it that they do this? And they did this to the uh, the poor actress that was playing Starfire in Titans too. They mm -hmm. made her look like a like a cheap hooker. That's kind of like um, what they, she looks like, and it's not. You know, I I don't blame her. It, it's not a it's not a good look. It really isn't. So I think um, I think what's going on here is they're getting a lot of bad publicity from the the cheap CGI, uh -huh. um, the co horrible co costume choices, horrible costumes, um, and everybody's kind of like, yeah, you know what? Um, hey, Daredevil. Daredevil's coming. Yeah, so. oh, let's focus on that. Yeah, let's focus on Daredevil. So I know I will. I know you will. And a lot of people are going to watch this just for Daredevil. That's hey, okay. those those shows on Netflix are really good. Hey, you'd watch it just for Daredevil. Yeah, you know, he's short in real life. I, I saw him. I walked by his table. I didn't get to go through that con. I was so mad I didn't get to go because he seems I like wanted a, to go see Daredevil. To, to be completely honest, he seems like a very nice guy. He well, does. actually, one of my favorite movies is Stardust. Yes. So, and yes. that's what I like him for. I still want to get you that outfit. I'm too old for that outfit. No, you're not. You're never too old for that outfit. Okay. You don't have to have it on very long. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we're going to wrap it up. <laughs> yeah. Is that a promise? I don't even know where we're going with this. I mean, I'm just, we're going to wrap this one up. Um, just very interesting to see that this is how they're marketing the show. Like, they're not even being like, 
hey, this is a great character. She-Hulk's a great character. It's like, no, watch it for the cameos. Yeah, they kind of are. Watch it, Daredevil. Watch it for all the other characters that aren't She-Hulk. Because, you know, yeah, blah, 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 She-Hulk. Daredevil's going to show up in the last 30 seconds of the last episode, guys. To so watch the whole series just for that. Very Disney. That's a very Disney thing to do. Uh, very Marvel. So I am going to give it a chance, though. We're going to wrap it up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.